tension that flat nine and flat thirteen is like creating all the time. And this has like two weird chromatic combinations. From the root, half step back, we have a major seven, and half step up, we have a minor second. So if it's chromatic. And there's a chromatic from sharp fourth, perfect fifth, to minor six. This was basically the thing that actually these chromatic combinations at the first place was motivation for me to, you know, fuse this kind of music with, uh, you know, other styles of music and in particular with jazz. And that, at that time, we, we were having this course on jazz music at our academy. Uh, they were teaching us some basic stuff and then they discuss a couple of advanced topics like code, code range changes and you know buckets uh, that weird access. Uh, we were talking about uh, substitutions. We were talking about these things, and then from there we came up with this concept of our own music, uh, which uh, which is new to me basically, which is new to all of us, and we've been trying to still trying to work on this, trying to come up with new harmonic approaches for scales like these, just imagine this a scale, like you'll have like weird kind of chords. You'll have a major seventh, for, for example, let's take this chord. We in flat nine, flat 30, from the root you'll have a major seventh, right? A major seventh, but you know, if you'll extend it, you'll have a major seventh, sharp, raise 11, the flat nine, flat 30. That's, it's a weird sound. Just listen in your head. It's a very exotic sound. So these are things that we are still working on them. Uh, you know, we've just come up with the first album, it's called El Am, but that's primarily a fusion between the rock, progressive rock side of the music and uh, our side of the things.